Hello, music makers. James Patrick at Slam Academy here, back at you. Ableton certified trainer since 2006. I'm stoked to show off these new features. Today, we're going to cover the new follow action capability of Live 11. So, Follow actions allow us to link clips together vertically, and this is the session we last left off on if you were watching a previous video about the enhanced scene capabilities. We were pointing out how scenes now have these numbers. Well, that's all going to relate to follow actions, because just like in Live 10, or even all the way back to like Live 2, I think, you could shift click on a variety of vertical clips as long as there was no empty slots and they were all right next to each other. You could grab a pile of those things and you could hit shift tab to uncover the clip parameters wherein you could find follow action. If I hit shift tab now, we're going to be uncovering the new Live 11 clip. We have another tutorial on our channel about the new clip capabilities and there's a whole lot to find in there. But in particular, the view is quite a bit more streamlined now. And if I hit this little disclosure triangle, I'll be able to custom configure the follow action of that selected group. So for instance, if I wanted to say, yeah, turn on follow action, maybe go to the next clip 100% of the time, what it's gonna do is it's gonna play the entire clip all the way through, regardless of how long the clip is. Otherwise, if you turn linked off, it'll behave like a traditional follow action where you could say, okay, every eight bars, maybe go to the next. So this is kind of like traditional follow actions where you grab a pile of clips, turn on follow action in the clip window, and then you say which action is going to happen and in how long. But what's new about this, this is the linked button, like I said, it doesn't matter how many bars or beats you want to program. You can just say play the clip once, play the clip eight times. It's going to play the whole length of the clip. This is extremely handy for making generative sequences that will kind of keep evolving and moving on their own without needing to worry about, okay, I made a follow action too long for a clip that's too short. There can be some weirdnesses there. Another thing that's really cool and new here is that if you write or if you click here in the action, you'll notice we also have a new action. And this is where those numbers up on the scene launcher come into play. You can say, okay, when this clip is done up here, go ahead and jump to where? Let's jump it on up. Let's jump it up to scene four where the wraps are. So that bottom one, I can say, okay, jump to scene four. So now as soon as this top clip plays, it's gonna, it'll play for eight bars or all the way through one time in this case, and then it'll bounce on out of this group all the way up to scene four, and then it'll start playing that one. So as you can kind of imagine, this is great for generative structures, you know, something where you can say, okay, here's four or five different subtle drum variations, or maybe some different processes with effects, anything you can change from the clip level, which is just about anything on the track, including automation and everything. And you can let them kind of play together in this kind of controlled playground. It's pretty tight, huh? So in addition to all that, what's new is watch, if I grab all these and just turn follow action off and just have it all off again, I can fold it up. We're back to just normal Live 11 clip view. I could also grab a chunk of clips and I could hit a key command here. It's create follow action, shift command enter. It's gonna automatically, for all those selected clips, turn on follow action. It's going to choose an action, and in this case I already had one configured, so I'll just say go to the next, and we'll say in two bars. You know, so now I just that just quickly expedited a bunch of individual clicks and let me just grab chunks. You know, like here's my drum beat, boom, shift command enter, follow action is automatically turned on with an action, and it's linked, ready to go. Pretty tight, huh? So yeah, this is... Pretty amazing. So in addition to that, so not only can we kind of expedite the programming of follow actions with shift command enter, and not only can we use the jump function now, which is brand new, as well as the linked function, where we can just say play the whole clip. To top it off, folks, watch this. When I go up to my scenes and select multiple scenes, you can even do this on one scene. I can highlight a group of scenes where there's a bunch of clips on there and I can hit shift tab and look what I've got now. 
follow actions that are programmable by scene. And this is a long desired function. I remember years ago, people saying, can you follow action scenes? And I was like, no, but that's a great idea. Here we are, 2021 almost. And uh, you can now select scenes and program their follow action. So in this case, I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead and let's do some follow action. We can go to the next 100% of the time. And we'll say in two bars just to get on with it. And just to even get more classy, I'll maybe put this a little towards the middle. And now I have an additional action. All follow actions have always had two arguments, uh, two possibilities of things that could happen. But having this little slider in the middle is quite a bit more elegant than the old prime numbers situation they used to do in Live 10, which was pretty ugly. So what I'm going to say is uh, let's jump. So maybe like, you know. It's going to go to the next 90 or 80% of the time. Then 20% of the time, it's going to jump. And where should we have it jump to? Let's have it jump back up to the top, to 13. So 13, we can call our like main scene. So I can just drag here. And now if I launch one of these scenes, it's going to start moving around through all these. In fact, just to make it even more classy, instead of next, let's do other. It's a random opportunity where it'll just won't play the same one twice in a row. Let's go ahead and launch 13 and we're going to be able to hear that beat we were working on in our previous video. There, we went back up to the top. Let's give those a little more time. So obviously the one I'd probably change here is I can go to the verse section. This is where the actual words are on my track. And right away, if I just hit shift command enter, I'm turning on follow action for all those guys. And I'm going to give them their own special length. I kind of like the linked function for the vocals because I wanted to play the whole verse. Stop interrupting the verses. Let's let it, let's let the verse just play once through. And we'll go ahead and just say every time, just every time. Let's kick it. I'm going to do that with my other words clip too. Shift command enter. Nice, huh? So kind of goofy having it all chop things up, but man, this is sick for your ability to remix and break things up into new combinations, but also just kind of let the machine play for a while. Um, I've always really loved this for going and just laying down some chords because you can throw a couple different drum beats into a follow action. It'll keep the drums interesting. Another thing I really love it for is for like wubs and synthesizer maneuvers, because maybe I can go to my wavetable and each of these different clips can have subtly different automation on things like wavetable position and folding and LFO amount and everything. And then when I grab all of them and shift command enter them, I can hit shift tab and now they're all following together and they'll just go ahead and allow myself a little bit of cool randomness as I'm jamming on the track. Pretty tight. So yeah, follow actions in depth have changed quite a bit and they are a lot better. The last little the last little neat thing about it is if you do decide you're like, you know what, this chaos is just a little too much, there's a follow action power switch, a little disable or enable switch right next to back to arrangement. And when you have this turned off, you're back to normal. Nice
Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, jamming on the session view is one of my favorite things about live. And now with the new improved follow actions, it's even more exciting. So thanks for checking out our videos here on Slam Academy's YouTube channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, Slam Academy or Slam Academy Arts. And of course, our website is www.slamacademy.com. We have more Ableton certified trainers than anyone. And our courses online are so robust and more affordable than anywhere else. You're going to have a great time learning how to create your own sound at Slam Academy. I can feel it. Come hang out with us. All right. Have a great day. Discover your own sound at America's leading digital audio academy, Slam Academy. An Ableton certified training center, Slam offers in-depth courses in sound design, mixing and mastering, DJing, and more in Minneapolis, Denver, and online only at www.slamacademy.com.